Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I'm going to briefly introduce you to the COVID Cities project. This project aims at investigating different urban phenomena that many people are beginning to call the new normal. So the first question we're going to ask ourselves is, what do we talk about when we talk about the new normal? Well, it turns out some people are quite optimistic about that. Queste strade così vuote dovrebbero metterci tristezza. Eppure, non ci sono mai sembrate così piene. Piene delle nostre speranze, dei nostri sogni. Piene di coraggio, di forza, di orgoglio. Abbiamo sofferto e affrontato mille difficoltà. Ma ci siamo sempre rialzati, più forti di prima. Perché siamo italiani. Il nostro viaggio ricomincia da qui, tutti insieme. But is it all true? Do we really want to go to go back to normal? And as a matter of fact, what if we couldn't or shouldn't return back to normality? Because normality was the problem in the first place. We are living through a period in which decisions have to be taken in a context of unprecedented uncertainty. As a matter of fact, we have no previous experience of this, we have no ad hoc knowledge and no routines. And what's even more important, there are no best practices to adhere to, no real experts to consult, no clear rules to follow. We have a desperate, urgent need for new knowledge. And how do we acquire new knowledge? We have to make experiments somehow. We have to start learning while we are doing. And we believe that the key for that is data. Data can help us identify contagion factors in this new normal life. For instance, they can help us better assess spatial characteristics of urban spaces, to analyze individual and collective mobility behaviors, to assess environmental qualities, urban densities and social inequalities, and of course to understand uses and function of public spaces. But that's not all. Data might have even a new, another function. That is to say, data may help us identify insurgent behaviors, practices and uses of this new normal. For instance, they can help us understand if people are taking a more cautionary or risk-prone attitude towards, towards their everyday life, if they are more adaptive or rather more passive, and if such phenomena are somewhat more geographically localized or rather more diffused, and if they are recurrent, or random and individual or collective, and of course if they are disruptive or aligned to some patterns in the past. And these insurgent behaviors and practices are our seeds and our seeds to design new experiments and thus to create new knowledge. And we are looking here to, to finding the answers to a couple of questions. First of all, how can we build data collection and analysis strategies able to intercept the appropriate scale of action? And how can we guarantee this emergency becomes an opportunity to innovate and introduce learning in action perspectives? We want to capture embryos of innovative practices in reality to feed experiment design towards collecting learning systems. And how can we activate a planning system of multiple and diversified short-term actions to intensify learning and make knowledge operational as soon as possible? To do all of this, we have devised a work plan which is both tight and comprises a number of activities. And it is our hope that you will work with us in better understanding how Milan and Turin metropolitan cities are dealing with the pandemics. Let's start learning for a new normality.